the birds and the fish, and all of the other creatures that inhabit this riverine environment. So in the southwest and western of Florida, they're what they call a Mediterranean climate. That's very hot in the morning, so in the morning is winter. So most of our rainfall comes over the cooler months. Around May or June, up to around <coughs> September or early October. Generally outside of that period, there's a little scenic rainfall in the southwest. The cost of that rainfall pattern causes what I see as three phases of the western now, if we start with the we call that phase one, that's where you get most of our rain. Most years, we have a fair bit of water coming down from the chasm, down the river system, into the estuaries, and it usually, usually just passes straight out to sea, just as we see it today. So what happens on the coast through those cooler months, starting a little earlier, around April or May, is the sand gets denuded or scoured off the beaches. And that's caused by the way the swell patterns and the currents out in the ocean work through that period. So we start getting a bit of a natural weakening and thinning of the sandbar just before we start getting our winter rains. When they do come with the associated flow, it rapidly causes the river to breach, kind of channel through the sandbar. And that's what's just happened in the last day. Nice. Yesterday evening. Let's get those up the bank here. I don't want to get too close in case there's a bit of a current. We don't Rock this island trip. Oh. Well, I'll check the other place today, but it's a little pointy area anyway. I'll be there again. Promises. Fishing gazetted on the state waterways act as a non motorised vessel area. So take motorboats too. Yeah, but just start on the top of 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 the Two or three metres, so around this. six or seven, maybe eight or nine, almost ten feet in about around four or five hours. So it's like this huge rapid or horizontal waterfall that goes racing out in the ocean. You got a big brown stain or plume that goes out. Sometimes that can go out two or three kilometres, almost the outer reef lines out. But as those rains continue to fall through the cooler months with the natural weakening of the sandbar, it'll often hold the channel open for long periods. They're usually through winter, the water levels are like this. Actually, a little bit higher, usually. Um, with this far dirty sediment laid water going out into the ocean. So that's phase one. Now, as we move into spring, we move into phase two. We did that a couple of months ago. And during phase two, the opposite effect happens, where the sand begins to get deposited back onto the beaches. So there's a change in the swell patterns and the currents out in the ocean. The sandbar starts to build up again. With the easing of the flow, as the rain begins to dry up, it fills the channel in it, it dams it off. And then the waters start to rise behind the sandbar. It rises quite quickly initially. There's still a fair amount of water coming down, so it can't hold it back for longer than a week or two. It opens up again. After building up a metre or more, and all the water flows out once more. But usually within a few days to a week, it'll close back up, start building up again. But another week or two, it'll open again, then close again. And open and close 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 and close and open and close and close and close. Might even open and close once more. So through spring and early summer, this time of year, what I call phase two, it's like a car makes its mind up, it's constantly opening and closing. That's what's been happening lately. So we just happen to pick a day when it's open, the water levels are very low. Had we been here two days ago, the water levels are right up the edge of the rocks, it was laughing at that. Got it, eh? Yeah, that's right, so it opened up. Yeah, you got it Tuesday, that's right, and then it opened Tuesday night. Yeah. So, so, by the time we get another month or so, around mid-December, perhaps mid-January, we'll move into phase three.